Hi guys, it's Ben Heath from Lead Guru, and in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you should do if you've seen a drop off in your Facebook and Instagram advertising results with the iOS 14 enforced changes that are coming into play. It's a very quick and short video, one tip, but super, super important. If you've seen a drop off, you absolutely wanna go ahead and do what I'm about to show you. Before I get into that, I just wanna very quickly ask you to smash that like button. Please click that thumbs up button. That helps me out a lot and would be very much appreciated. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you are new. Now, as I'm recording this video, Facebook have implemented some of the changes that they're going to be implementing in regards to iOS 14. And if you're not familiar with, you know, if you're watching this going, well, what are the iOS 14 changes? How are they affecting Facebook ads? How's that work? Check out the, uh, there'll be links in the video description below to other videos where I've got lots of stuff about the iOS 14 changes because they're really significant in the Facebook advertising space. But a lot of people have seen, perhaps it's from the attribution window setting changes, perhaps it's from some of the other things that are being implemented. They've seen a drop off in results. And I've had tons of comments on my YouTube videos, in my Facebook group where people are saying things like, I used to get you know 10 purchases a day, I've now gone down to two, I used to get 45 leads uh, a week, I've now gone down to 17. Like people have seen really drastic drop-offs, okay? So, one of the, and, we've, and, and it's not just them, right? We've seen this with a lot of our clients' accounts. If you have that happen, what should you do? Very simple. I want an example Facebook ad account because I'm gonna show you some example. So let's say I've got this CBO campaign running. It's in draft mode because this is, this is an example ad account, but let's assume it was running and it had been performing quite well. Attribution windows have changed. Um, all the, you know, some of the other iOS 14 changes have come into play and all of a sudden your results, boom, you've just, just dropped off a cliff. What should you do? Super, super simple. Pause your existing campaign. Click the duplicate button. Uh, get that out of the way. Click duplicate. And I'm going to minimize that down to keep this nice and simple. And enable the duplicated version. Okay, sounds too simple, but it is working well for a lot of our clients. What we think has happened is that with the changes in particular to the attribution settings and some of the changes that Facebook are implementing in terms of reporting, so less information coming through and also the reporting delay, is that previous campaigns are just getting stuck. They've just been basically, they've been optimized under the Facebook optimization process under one way of doing things. And that's changed basically overnight. And they don't quite, they just seem to be in a bit of a, bit of a lag, a bit of a, a slump, a bit of a just not knowing how to get the best results anymore. So by doing the equivalent, it's like, you know, when your computer doesn't work and this is all slow and something seems wrong, you turn it off, you turn it back on again, you're all good. That's basically what we're doing here with these Facebook ad campaigns. The ones that have had the crossover from performing well to just all of a sudden dying, it seems to just be more of like a technical glitch and just the algorithm is a bit stuck, doesn't know how to optimize under the new process. So by duplicating the campaign and running a new one, yes, you'll go back through the learning phase for a bit in the new campaign, but you're basically getting your Facebook ad campaign to then learn under the new conditions, under the new attribution windows, under the new reporting systems. And we've seen results come back more or less in line in many cases when doing this with what we had with clients previously. Okay, so it's not difficult to do, um, but very much worth doing. Only takes, literally, you saw me do it, about 30 seconds. But if you've seen a big drop off because of the iOS 14 changes, absolutely give this a go. Now, if you haven't seen a drop off at all, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Okay, that I wanna make that clear. Because if you go ahead and duplicate the campaign and pause your existing version, this new campaign has to go through the learning phase. So you're likely to see a short-term dip and you're also not necessarily benefiting from all the learnings that have taken place in the previous campaign. And because Facebook is not only implementing these changes um, in different ad accounts at different stages, so you may have seen some changes that other people haven't. Some people have had the sort of 40 hour or so reporting delay implemented, some people haven't as of the recording of this video, um, it may well be that you haven't seen a drop off, but you will when the changes hit your ad account. So you don't wanna do this too early and then have to do it again. It may well be that because the way your campaigns are set up, you're not gonna see a drop off at all, in which case you don't need to do this. But if you have seen a drop off, and we've seen loads and loads of people, it's a very quick and easy um, solution or at least something to test. And we've had good results with this so far. OK, um, I think this is the equivalent of turning a face of turning a computer off when it's not, you know, when it's playing up a bit and turning it back on, duplicating the campaign so it learns under new conditions um, is a quick and easy fix. So 
Just a quick video, definitely let me know in the comments below how this goes, because we've done this with a whole bunch of clients now and it seems to have been beneficial. And I think as we see more changes, we might end up having to do this again because, uh, yeah, because the we know that the Facebook optimization process is super, super powerful and Facebook are having to interrupt that themselves. So it's kind of not surprising that it's having a ne negative impact on results for a lot of people. And this is how we can sort of wipe the slate clean and get it set up under the new new settings. Okay, so as I said, if this has been useful, let me know in the comments below. Let me know if it works, by the way. You should find out within, you know, three, four, five days after doing this, whether it's worked or not. Um, I, I'd really want to know. Before you go, a couple of things I want to mention. The first is my Facebook Ads Mastermind group, free, free Facebook group. Anyone can join. Um, it was And our Facebook Ads Mastermind group, as of the recording of this video, has more than 70,000 members one of the biggest communities of Facebook advertisers in the world. I do free live trainings in there. We give loads of content in there. Um, it's an amazing community, right? Full of people just like you who want to get better results with Facebook ads. They're asking questions, getting them answered. And if that sounds like something you want to be part of, go ahead and click the link in the video description below. Take you through to the group. You can join. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you in there. It's all moderated. We take care of all that. So there's no spam or anything in there. Or Every, something will sneak through every now and then, you know, it's inevitable. But we, we monitor that really closely. So it's a really high quality group as well um, for that sort of stuff. Um, other free thing I want to mention is uh, a free webinar I've created called Three Killer Facebook Ad Strategies to Double or More Your Revenue. And this webinar really breaks down the sales funnels, the go-to sales funnels that we use, like how to structure your Facebook advertising process, right? Like, should you have one campaign, then a retargeting campaign? Should you use a lead magnet? Should you use a webinar? Should you use a direct to offer? Should you use like a, a brand awareness approach? All that sort of stuff is covered in that webinar. It's completely free. Strongly, strongly recommend you, you go through it, right? Because honestly, one of the biggest mistakes I see Facebook advertisers make is they do not use the right strategy. The amount of times I've spoken to a e-commerce business that sells a $30 product that is using a strategy that's suitable for a you know, a service business that sells a $10,000 service, I, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen that. And I go, well, it's never going to work. You, you, it literally doesn't matter. You cannot get it to work if you're using the wrong setup. So that webinar will just clear up all those questions for you. So go ahead and check that out. Again, link in the description, completely free. And I think you'll find it very useful. Right, that's all I have for this video. Um, subscribe if you're new. Please click that thumbs up button and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.